Hello, Namaste. Welcome or welcome back to Greet Arrow. So, how are you? I hope you're doing good. I hope it's an amazing day for you guys. So, if you're new here, if you like my content, please support me. If you have already supported me, thank you, thank you so very much for all the love and the support. It means a lot. Thank you so very much. So, in the description box, I have my uh, description uh, description of the text that I'll be using, and the Instagram page link will be also there. So, the topic for today is all about your metamorphosis. Um, all about the changes that's coming your way okay so as you can see three pictures are there choose intuitively select a picture that calls to you take your time pause the video if you need to and remember these are general readings so take what resonates and leave the rest behind so i'll see you in your group hello group number one this is the image that you have chosen let's see what is the message for you guys about your metamorphosis what changes you can expect okay so we have the blue and the green color right we have blue green and uh, yellow okay so um so i feel like for some of you uh you are uh you're you're going to speak your heart out heart out to someone there is some sort of heart to heart conversations that's going to happen and because of that heart to heart conversations the relationship that you have that person with that person is going to be deep deepening yeah so yes some heart to heart conversations maybe with a friend maybe with your parents maybe with your partner or maybe with your kid so something some sort of heart to heart conversations are going to happen and because of it you will be able to see that you are not seeing you know maybe you will be able to understand them more you know sometimes when that's what that's why that's why we have to have heart to heart conversations and really feel like that uh, you are you are speaking about uh, about something that your heart um was trying to tell you you were speaking it you know sometimes we hide certain things from uh, from our people right and they don't understand us and sometimes they uh, they kind of hide it and so we don't understand them right and here you are speaking your heart out they are speaking their heart heart out and so both of them both of them can understand each other and both of them can see what they were not seeing so there are a lot of uh, solutions coming out because of it there is peace yeah so that's what the message is that's what is changing this heart to heart conversations is going to change the relationship you have with your people yeah and i'm really seeing it's going to deepen your relationship so let's see what the charms have to add i'm going to start with charms today so let's see for so group number 1 what's changing this deep to this heart to heart conversations are going to uh, give a lot of hope to them to you for this relationship yeah and look we have the hope here hope there is a lot of hope that is coming again the and there has been some sort of anger there has been some sort of anger uh, there has been some sort of communication gap yeah there has been misunderstanding yeah some some of some people were not understanding your view points or maybe you were not understanding their view points and that's what is changing that's really changing you know sometimes because of the lack of communication it really affects our, our relationship and i hear you you opening your heart and they opening their heart so the conversations that we are ha having that is actually um you know changing you know the transforming the anger into more hope <laughs> yes it's like hope is happening yeah they are understanding me so the anger is like subsiding like the anger is going and there is more hope we have elephant wow okay elephant is a very powerful animal right uh, so uh, so you've been protected by your uh, spirit team uh, you you know i really the one of the changes you will see is like um that how how much you were protected or how much you're protected you will see that that how much you're protected in your life so be be grateful for that because again this talk about protection this talk about protection so as you're making any necessary changes you need to understand one thing that you're very safe very protected okay be hopeful uh yeah and yeah maybe for some of you one thing something didn't happen the way you way you wanted it to happen there has been an obstacle you tried you wanted it it didn't happen and here your spirit team is telling you that they are protecting you 
from harm actually. So if there has been a disappointment, uh, if you're very angry about it, don't be. It's just spirit guide, spirit team protecting you guys. Yeah, for some of you, this can be related to travel. Something like that is there. Okay, there has been an obstacle. Specific message. You wanted to go forward with this thing, but there has been obstacles. It's only because your spirit team has been protected. So change that anger to hope because there is something more amazing that is going to come. Okay, something better is going to come. Something better is going to come, group number one. And your spirit team is telling you to calm that anger and replace it with hope because there is something better coming. And you're very courageous, you're very strong. So there has been some obstacles. There has been something that you're disappointed about that's going to change. You will see the clear picture. Maybe right now you're not able to see the clear picture, but you will be why this thing didn't happen. You will be able to see, see, see in the future, okay? I really feel like you have been protected by something that was not good for you and you are disappoint disappointed, you're very angry and your spirit team is telling you to let go of that anger because something amazing, something better than what you expected is on the horizon for you guys. Group number one, I see that. We have W, we have um, V and we have N. Okay, so these are the letters. So let's see the cards. So what is changing for group number one? So I really feel like one thing that is changing, you know, the, the thing that you really wanted, it is not happening and something better is going to be replaced. <laughs> that's what it is. That, that's what I feel like. That's what it feels like. So don't worry. Can you hear me? It, it feels like you're frustrated. There is a lot of anger. You're like, oh, I've been praying for this thing. Do, <laughs> I, I, you know, some of you are like that. Maybe that is your situation. I, can you hear me divine? Like, can you hear me? I worked so hard. And why I'm not getting this? Uh, you know, sometimes that happens. Disappointments happen. And I feel like they're telling you that they really, really hear you. And they're telling you to be calm. Uh, they're telling you to uh, be more hopeful because there is something amazing, something better than you expected coming your way. So don't lose hope. There is mo mo movement, movement coming. And yes, you will be out of this thing. And yes, your spirit team, your spirit guides are hearing you, he hearing your concerns. They are supporting you. And again, can you hear me? I was talking about heart to heart conversations, right? So sometimes we are like, we want to say something and we are not able to communicate it with other person. And when we don't communicate, we keep it in our heart. And when we keep it in our heart, what happens is it can develop into resentment. Yeah, because we are just keeping it. We are not communicating it properly. And I really feel like the, if you are someone who has little bit of problems in the relationship, the advice from your spirit team is to have heart-to-heart -heart con conversation. That heart-to-heart -heart conversation is going to improve your relationship so, awesome, so much. It's very important. So if you need any support, ask for support. Don't keep it to yourself here, okay? Don't think that other people will understand your situation and help you. For that, you will have to open your mouth and communicate. The more you communicate, the more you will get the support. So that's what I'm getting here. Sometimes we do that, right? We don't communicate, rather we expect other people to do certain things for us. So again, with this, can you hear me? You've got to open your mouth. You've got to, you've got to share your heart out, okay? Yeah. And once you share, there is, the outcome is going to be beautiful. That's what your spirit team is telling you. And you will see the change. You will see the change in your relationships and just it's a beautiful protection that is happening right now if you have been disappointed you have been protected okay don't worry wow there is good news with this hummingbird there is good news coming your way there is more joy more pleasure in relationship definitely there is good news so you need to open your mouth uh, and communicate your heart out okay that will change a lot don't be shy to communicate don't be shy to express yourself uh, mm, or maybe sometimes we think what this uh, other person will think about me if I share these things uh, so that's why we kind of keep it to ourselves don't keep it to yourself it's time to communicate your feelings to this person so because 
the outcome will be very good and that will change the relationship it will deepen your relationship okay so i am really seeing that uh, for some of you if you're seeking love i see there is a good news and uh, and when you start a relationship i feel like it's very important to share your feelings be authentic because if you are like that uh, good things there will be a lot of joy and the relationship will be very good okay so that's what it is and for some of you maybe your relationship didn't work out is maybe you started seeing this person and you liked that person but they didn't contact you or something like that don't worry don't be angry because it it was for your own good okay so let's see what's changing so the relationships around you is changing there is there is more joy you will be experiencing more joy in your relationship as you express yourself more so let's see and be more flexible guys be more flexible that's what i heard don't try to do things in only one way i just read a book in that book someone did an experiment and uh, when they consulted with people there were like 250 ways to do do dishes 250 ways so if you are like only this is the way we can do this do no 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 it's like 250 ways so there are so many other ways So don't be so rigid. Be more flexible. Okay. Where are you rigid? Where are you not flexible? Change it, because it's going to bring a lot of good changes in your life. The more you become flexible, the more good will come. Okay. We have eight of water. Again, look the emotions, right? The water. There has been a lot of emotions inside of you. It's time to release it. So there is something that you have to share. It's time to share it, so you can release those emotions that are not even required. So you can free yourself from those things. Again, having heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And when we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you know, sometimes some issues are not even that that. a uh, problematic that we think right it's all our emotions uh, making us feel like oh this is too much this is too much like i uh, that's how they think you know and when when once we have once we have uh, this conversations we get a lot of clarity and we can free ourselves from that kind of emotions that is not required that is making us chaotic right yeah again if there is a lot of water that is coming it's not good right it feels like there is like lot of water coming from up and you you cannot breathe properly it's too much like our emotions it's too much so it's time to have good communication so you can understand what you need to keep and what you need to let go of so for some of you this is the time to have heart to heart conversation so you can understand what you need to get out of what you need to let go of what you need to accept yeah and that will bring and and as you have this deeper conversation with yourself with other people you will see that there are so many emotions that i actually don't require and i can just let go of that as i release them i feel good so i feel like there is a major release that is going to happen for you guys the emotions that is not required you're going to release it uh yeah you're going to walk away from something that is giving you too much of uh anger or pain yeah because you are going to have uh heart to heart conversations that's what it feels like we have seven of air again the misunderstandings are going to be solving we have 10 of water look again you know sometimes we we keep so many things in secret right we keep so many things and sometimes it's not even true and we are not talking to them we are uh, they, they are also not able to understand what we are thinking and what they think we don't know we don't we don't know what they are thinking right so as we are having that open communication we are understand oh they are thinking this and we can just tell them this is not the way i thought uh, the, that's not true and as we have that awesome communication um we let go of these kinds of energy the secretive energy right we we 
we understand them, they understand them. So we don't have to keep these heavy emotions. Rather, we can just enjoy and be fulfilled with this ten of water. Look, everyone is together having fun. Again, for some of you, family matters also is improving. You know, there has been some sort of issues uh, that uh, maybe there you were hiding something. Maybe you were hiding something. Now you can. Oh, you are. Uh, I see that you're communicating with them properly, and they are understanding you. They are supporting you. And uh, sometimes we don't share things with our family because we feel like they will not support us, and it's too much. It's too much. It's too heavy. It's taking a toll on us, right? And now I see that you will be sharing that, and you will be releasing. You will be get out, getting out of the seven of air energy, and there is a lot of. Uh, support that you will be getting so I really feel like for some of you you haven't been sharing something with your family and it was eating you it, it was eating you you were so afraid how they will how they will take uh, take that thing right you know sometimes that's why we don't share that but finally uh, once you start expressing your heart out you know what with this ten of water as I told the outcome will be fruitful the outco outcome will bring joy they will understand you so there is the change is like People are actually listening to you. The change is people are actually listening to you, supporting you, and you are also understanding other people. Yeah, the relationships are getting deepened. That's that's what the changes. Yeah, I just feel that only with this ten of cups coming. That's what I feel like. There's good news about relationship, family. That's what, deepening of relationships, finding meaning in relationship and getting rid of the overthinking, the patterns, the secrets. There's, uh, yeah, there's no secrets. Everything is clear. So, yeah. Uh, Again, this can be regarding a marriage. Your marriage improvement is happening for you guys. There is change in your marriage. Um, or maybe a change in a teacher, a student relationship or a parent-child relationship where both of them are uh, communicating and uh, you are understanding everyone's point of view. And there is this, uh, it feels like both the, both the parties are understanding each other. And so there is a strengthening of this relationship. Really, that's what I'm getting here. And both of them are understanding something about them, right? You, uh, you know, again, if it's your uh, husband, your husband is understanding so much that you have been keeping to yourself. And you are understanding something about um, them, right? Uh, that they have been keeping. So that's why the marriage is improving. Or, or in family as well, maybe your parents acted something or they're telling you secrets that you didn't even know and because of it you're understanding them uh, and uh, they're also understanding you. That's what it feels like here. Yeah, look, you haven't been sharing because of your fear of judgment or be because your fear that... Um, uh, that, uh, that everything will... Uh, be problematic right you know you didn't have the hope if I share this thing with them maybe they will not understand me you know so, so that's why we choose to stay in fear in this eight of swords energy and that's that when we are in this eight of swords energy there is a lot of stress there is a lot of fear there is a lot of anger and that's not nice and that's what exactly is changing as you're having meaningful conversations with family with, with partner and you're able to let go of these kinds of thoughts that are not good. The seven of air is the secretive thoughts that we have. It's not doing any good, not doing any favor. And as we express that, the, the other person is trying to understand you and making you understand that that's not true. And so all the things that is not true, you're understanding and you're able to let go of it. And that's why the relationship is strengthening. Your marriage is strengthening. I feel like your family is strengthening. And maybe there, you know, maybe there has been certain belief system. Uh, maybe your belief system is different uh, from their belief system. So maybe your both both the parties are compromising on something that works for both of them, and that's why this eight of swords energy is going. You're flying away from that thing. And you're seeing the bigger picture. So yes. Your advice will be having have meaningful conversations. As you have meaningful conversations, you will be able to let go of the stress, the fear. 
are the secrets. Let go of the secrets. Because the more you hide those secrets, the more it is going to give you a lot of stress and fear. So it's important that you, instead of hiding, ask for help, have meaningful conversations. That will strengthen strengthen you. That's, that's what I feel like here. That's the message. So let's see. What is the change? Yes. Oh, look, we have great guaranteed success so when you have this conversation guaranteed success is there you will be recognized you will be understood and you will be able to understand them so this deep conversation uh, is a game changer in your relationship and it will take your stress away from you so again there is success where uh, once that was very fearful for you is not going to be fearful rather that you know this fear that you had is going to strengthen you make you understand so much that you didn't understand before and they will understand more about you so that's what it, it feels like here yeah a two-faced friend <laughs> again you know it's, it's like uh, we are keeping something in our heart and expressing something we are not having that open conversations and so that's why we are hiding something we are not having that meaningful conversations and because we are hiding something it's leading to a lot of stress fear and uh, we are feeling very overwhelmed because of all those emotions because we are hiding something so here some of you have a fear because uh, you are hiding something and it's keeping you very fearful and if you feel like if you express this thing to this person your relationship will go or your family will not support you so that's why you're keeping it to yourself and here you cannot move forward with this thing right because it's taking a toll on your mental health it's making you fearful but here as you have that open communication with them as you express that the thing that you have been keeping to yourself actually the opposite is going to happen. You will get the understanding. It is actually going to make your relationship more strong. That's what the message is. You're very protected. Again, with this angel, you don't have to worry. You're protected. You're safe. Yeah, again, it can be like, I'm just getting a scenario. So some of you in your work, you got promotion and you have to travel to a different country. You want to travel, but you are trying to not take that offer. So it's eating you, right? It's eating you because this is a big change. And you are very happy to have that change. But you are in relationship and uh, you want to go. But at the same time, you don't want to leave this person. So you're just hiding this from them, this opportunity. So instead of hiding, express them. You will get a view that you never thought you will get. And it will make you happy. Okay? It will not give you any anger. And you will be able to get out of this stressful energy. And it will actually strengthen your relationship. That's what the message is here, group number one. So let's see the final information here for group number one. Dream talk. You're subconsciously, sorry, you're subconscious constantly and su subtly, uh, subtly, subtly, sorry, <laughs> speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those who are in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with your signs, symbols, messages and more. Oh, wow. So maybe for some of you in your dreams, you are uh, seeing something. So keep a track of your dreams because in your dreams, there are certain messages that you're getting. So write down. That's one thing I'm seeing here. And again, <laughs> some of you, um, uh, some of you, uh, again, you know, you had a dream. I really feel like that. Uh, because of your fear, you had a dream that if you share this information with them, everything will be destroyed. The relationship will be destroyed. So that's why you're not speaking up. If that is the case, don't speak up because you will get the success. Things will change for the better. Okay. So, so yeah, I, I feel like you're stressing uh, or you're keeping something to yourself. But here your spirit team is telling you to express it, share it. Because things are not going to be like you are thinking. It's going to be successful. <laughs> That's the change here. So yeah, so for some of you, you again, dream talk. It feels like some of you keeping to yourself. Again, dreams. Uh, you're like, oh, as I told, you know, the message I'm getting from this uh, card is like, uh, you have this opportunity, right? And you're like, oh. I, even though I'm getting this opportunity, even though it's my dream, it will not happen. 
uh, this is not going to work out. So you're just making as you, uh, assumptions and you're feeling the pain, you're hiding it, you're feeling so much of uh, emotions that is not good. And it's not giving you any satisfaction, a lot of fear, right? You're hiding it. And once you open yourself, once you express yourself what you want, you know, the other poor party, you know, the person really will have an understanding that you never thought existed. Yeah, that's, I don't know, but that's the message here. And it is going to change your life. It's going to change the relationship here, uh, with that person, right? It's going to deepen. It's going to be more meaningful. Yeah. So that's what I received for you guys here. And your dreams. Again, we have the angels. So they talk to you in your dreams. Write down your messages, okay? Maybe in your dreams you're feeling like maybe you had a dream where you're, you, you know, you're sharing your secrets with this person. Uh, something like that. If you had a dream, this is your sign to share what you're hiding. Because whatever you're hiding, it's causing a lot of stress in your life, a lot of emotions, and it's not good. So share it. And that's going to change the relationship. Yeah. So that's the message I received here, group number one. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. If it did, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. So group number two, if this is the image that you have chosen, let's see what is changing for you guys, all about your metamorphosis. Okay, so I feel like you have been focusing on your mental health, improving your mental health and there is a shift in that. I feel like you will be feeling more hopeful, more joyful, more calm, more peaceful. I even feel like for some of you are finding ways uh, to, uh, to calm your anxiety or maybe anxious thoughts and that is working out for you guys. So that's one thing I'm seeing here. So let's see. Oh, I, ha I'll, I, I have to start with charms. I'm going to start with charms. So I'm doing the charms. So let's see what is changing. What all about your metamorphosis? What's changing for group number two? What's changing for group number two? Okay. Oh wow, you're letting go of something with this pin and with this uh, this thing and uh, this this all talks about letting go of something you're letting go of something that was holding you back that's the change we have the snake again if you look at uh, the snake the snake sh shed the skin right so sometimes we are so attached to certain toxic habits that it takes control over us so here you might have a habit that was taking control over you your mental health it was making you uh, pessimistic it was taking your peace your calmness or maybe there was a person that was taking your peace and calmness you're finally letting go of it that's the thing finally the circumstances ha will happen in a way where you will be able to let go of the situation that was holding you back that was taking a, a toll on your mental health finally you're getting rid of it you're finally uh, taking out the skin and now you're free now you are going to be an energy where you will feel like yes there is a lot of hope there is a lot of doors that is opening for me again with this infinity symbol feeling like there are infinite possibilities even though this situation this is gone it's okay there are more to come it feels like some of you were uh, knocking a door that was not opening and once we start to knock a door that's not opening we get stressed we get attached our mental health degree you know it's not good at that time because we are stressing why this is not opening and finally we are like when we let go of that thing and we are like yes that i'm just not going to open uh, knock on this door anymore i'm just letting go of it you feel a sigh of relief right and you you're like yeah there is another door let me go there <laughs> let me look at look what are the possibilities there right and that's exactly what you're going to do with this grapes here you're going out, seeking out more information, seeing things in a different view, not holding. Maybe you were holding to a person, uh, to a habit that was not giving you uh, clarity, that was making you feel bondaged. It, this habit or whatever it is, it was that, that put you in a prison, right? You were not get able to get out of the prison. And this change is like you're finally letting go of it and you're out of the prison. So when a person is prison is in prison, what, what happens, right? They, have, they don't have the freedom. And that's exactly it feels like that. You were in your mind, you put yourself in the prison. And finally, now I see the changes like you're releasing that. That's why your mental health is becoming better. You're seeing things from a different view. Uh, and that's the change here, group number two. 
yeah again there is a there is a backup plan for you guys you're seeing the backup plan with the squirrel that's what it feels like and we have we so again the main main change is like you have been stuck to a situation and that situation is ending so and as the situation is ending as you're getting out of that situation you're seeing a different possibility a different view and that's actually bettering your mental health with this we i'm getting the victory so for some of you the victory is like you're change you're changing your view you're ready to let go of something that you were holding too tightly again when we hold on to a rope too tightly because we are so afraid of falling down so we we hold the rope so tightly that it pains us so we are standing there holding the rope too tightly in pain because we are so afraid to fall but once we let go of we fall and it's not so painful it's like it's okay oh, we are down okay we, now we can see a different view and the pain is gone because we are not holding on too tightly so sometimes because it's our own mentality we hold on to things so tightly because we are like so afraid what if i lose this thing uh, will i get another thing thing no so what's happening is you're letting go of something and you're seeing a new possibility for yourself and that's why your mental health is also improving yeah <clears throat> you're seeing a backup plan so what changes you can expect group number 2 yeah tiny triumphs wow look at it victory right for some of you this is a tiny triumph finally you're letting go of something it's a small thing right again here the roles have been reversed the mouse is big and the crow is uh, this vulture or whatever it is small so finally the mouse win otherwise the crow was this uh, you know this bird was winning all the time yeah uh the roles have been reversed that's what it feels like so maybe you were holding on to a situation not ready to let go of finally you let go of and you get the peace and you're out of that thing and it's a win for you guys but the but the but the thing that you were holding on to that you know maybe it's a person that you were holding on to they will be like oh i i just lost a gem right because they didn't understand the value when you were holding on to them and i really feel like that's what is happening here but whatever it is that you are letting go of it's it's giving you a sense of security a sense of victory because you will be very very happy that you let go of this thing this is a victory for you guys this is a small victory for you guys you have been uh, going through a lot holding on to the situation you tried a lot but no now it's time for new possibilities and you will be seeing something new that will actually make you feel uh happy you will be like yeah thank god i left this thing thank god so there is something that you will be letting go of and this change is going to bring you uh bring a small victory you will be feeling good i feel like the victory is mainly about your mindset finally you have let go of something so you're seeing new new horizons for you guys new things for you that's what i feel like okay so yeah so so for some of you this can be ending a relationship and feeling actually good about it you're understanding how because of this relationship you were suffering your mental health you know sometimes because of uh, because of uh, yeah certain things we are holding on to our mental health takes a takes um, yeah um, mental health Uh, takes so much of yeah it's it's a, it takes it all back right i really get that energy where our mental men, we are suffering mentally because of this thing and now finally we have let off let go of the th let go of this thing we are feeling good we are feeling happy we are feeling like we are we are we are getting that a uh, triumph because it's not so heavy now we can you know we are getting that freedom our mental health is good isn't it that's what it feels like So let's see all about what changes you can expect. You know, some somewhere somehow some people were using you, and finally they cannot use you anymore because you are out. Yeah, again, firefly. There has been a lot of darkness, right? There has been a lot of darkness. Finally, the shine is coming. And again, with the spider, you were feeling like you are in a web, and you no matter what you do, you couldn't get out of it. And the changes. Finally, you are seeing that spark of light. now you know the way and you're able to get out of it Th that's the thing you're you're ending something you're getting out of something 
uh, that's why there is a lot of hope that is coming your mental health is getting better group number 2 there is something that that made you feel felt like you were in darkness you are letting go of that thing and now you can see the spark of light now you can see the hope now you can see different possibilities you are out of the spider web maybe this is a web created by other people making you feel con confused gaslighting you a relationship and you were trying, 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 you were uh, you're hold, holding to it, you were trying to prove themself, them that you were good enough, but no matter how, you, how, you, how hard you tried, nothing was working, there was, it was like you were in this dark place, trying so hard, nothing working out, finally like, you're like, let me just let go of this thing. And as you let go of this thing, you're seeing the ray of hope, the light, with this fire, firefly again in the dark forest when the fly, fi, firefly is there the light is there isn't it so yes in the darkness you're seeing the light you're seeing the hope that's the change here so definitely i see an improvement in your mental health yeah because you're letting go of something or someone or some situation or a habit that was putting you in a dark place and now things are improving and you know interestingly backup plan is there there is a plan for you guys so if this even though you're letting go of this thing there is something good happening a different opportunity a different door is opening for you guys you were not able to see that different door because you were in this dark because you were so much attached to this to this thing that's why now you are say, seeing a different way so that's why there is a lot of hope with this firefly so what's changing for group number two We have the page of swords again. Uh, yeah, again page of swords. If we look at it, uh, again the hands, right? The hands are there. It's very long. Yeah, you thought that you cannot reach somewhere, so you stayed in the dark. But now you're reaching out to something. As you reach out to something, you're getting some some backup plan. Yeah, for some of you, this can be like in the dark, you're looking at an article or looking at a video and you're getting your answers and then you are deciding like, yes, it's time to let go of this thing. This is not working out for me. So, yeah, for some of you, that can be the thing. Um, yeah. Maybe a video, maybe, you know, maybe for some of you, uh, maybe you have an online friend or maybe you will watch a video or maybe uh, through online you will get some sort of answers and you will be out of this dark face and you will be letting go of something that was holding you back yeah yeah bringer of earth again look at the page of this is a good news this is a good news right again if you look at the pages it's all about good news good things coming our way good news coming our way so yes uh, so so you are able to let go of certain situation completely and you're going to see something new, new, new coming. So again, when we make space for the new, then only the new arrives. If we are holding on to a situation, if you're holding on to the old, we never see the new because we are not see, sp making space for the new. And here, for some of you, you were in the dark, but you're ready to let go of that, that thing, that disappointment, maybe a dream. Yeah, for some of you, it can be a dream, right? That was holding you back in many ways. And finally, you're seeing something new. Maybe you will... I really feel like for some of you, you will find an article of something. And that will open a new door for you guys. And that will change your life. Yeah, it will give you a lot of uh, sparks of light. A lot of hope. So yeah, that's what is changing. A new idea. It can be a new idea. It can be something you uh, watch and it will click. An idea will click that's why you'll be able to let go of it it can be about your habit that is stopping you. you will you will get a book you will read that book and because of it you will you will see the light or maybe it is like you talk you will talk to someone they will they will open up something some sort of new idea in you right you will be like yeah I'm holding on to this thing I have not been seeing things in this way so someone is going to show you a different view different angle right you have been so focused on one angle, you are not seeing the other angle, right? I see that you will be seeing the other angle. Yeah. That's the message here. That's the change. So let's see. What is this metamorphosis for group number two? Oh my God. Okay, so the only card that 
is like this ten of cups so I'm gonna take it yes you're going to this is going to make you really happy so you are getting a new way a new idea to break free from this thing that has been holding you back and this will give you a lot of happiness you will be able to nurture yourself you will be take you will be taking care of your physical health your mental health and as you improve the surroundings is going to improve uh, yeah that's what it feels like there is happiness that's coming group number three you will be sorry too you will be feeling good about yourself your mental health is definitely improve, improving there's no doubt because with this ten of cups a person can uh, it's about happiness emotional happiness because it's cup right and I really feel like that you haven't been feeling yourself lately you haven't been right because there was something that was holding you back in many ways you were only feeling that pain now there is there is something that you will you will be reading or you will be learning and that's why you're seeing a different door that is opening up and that door is going to give you that happiness that's what it feels like so so I really feel like someone someone who is in the dark they are so afraid of darkness but they are stuck in the darkness then they see that someone is there with a torch so so now they know the way and they are out of that darkness that's what it feels like that's what it feels like here yeah again look we have the seven of cups lot of confusion don't know where to go what to do there is no peace there is only chaos holding on to these things because of the confusion finally you know what you want and and you know what is not working for you so what's not working you're letting it go and doing you know again I, I told you maybe an article maybe a video that will open your eyes and finally you're feeling free you're liberating yourself from your own stuckness because you are stuck to something or some situation you're again with this bird flying you're freeing yourself from something and as you free yourself from something there is a lot of light coming your way and your mental health is definitely going to improve so yeah and and you will be feeling emotionally satisfied that I let go of this thing and and I really feel like your mental health is going to improve so let's see what is changing from group number two I really feel for some of you you were stuck in a relationship or something like that uh, and finally you're uh, hearing some news and this news is like uh, about them you're hearing some news and then your confusion is all cleared and you're finally able to break free from that person and that's why you know you you might notice that when you were with that person your mental health was very bad now you're out you're free from this person you're seeing that your mental health has improved you're feeling hopeful you're doing the routine that you you used to like doing I see that's what is happening yeah it, it feels like something is going away yeah something is going away from your life something is something that was there is going away but it's actually making you feel, feel, you know, you thought that when you let go of this thing, it would be full, full of pain. Well, they not, that's not happening. Actually, the opposite is happening. As this thing is going away from your life, you're feeling hopeful. You're feeling good about yourself. You're not confused. You're not feeling in the dark. Even though in the past, this is what you wanted. But as, it, as it's going away, you're feeling happy, actually yeah again protected from negative forces beyond your control again with this web cobweb you're getting out of that cobweb again i talked about it right with the spider this was a cobweb and you were just uh, you just lost your way someone was controlling you making you do what you didn't want to do and you didn't even understand but finally you're getting out of it getting out of it guys that's the change again we have this caterpillar i really feel like you were in a situation where someone was controlling you or your mind was controlling you something like that of sort or a habit was controlling you and you were lost there you were doing that thing and you were feeling very dark there was no hope for you guys finally you're getting out of it and there is a lot of hope you're seeing the new door yes it can come through an article, video, maybe a message from a person. Something will clear up and you will be out of that thing. Yes, that's what 
that's what the answer that's what i'm getting here again recognition reward for merit okay finally the basket look again finally you can see the see the uh, see the things in a positive way that's what i feel like really yeah you are waiting for some sort of recognition reward and you were not getting it and you were just trying to find it trying to find it pleasing them pleasing them pleasing them then you understood that it's them it's not me it's not my problem i just need to get out of this neg- this scope web and you're doing it and you're and you're doing it that's what i feel like it, it feels right it really feels like some some of you were holding on to this person for recognition uh, for validation or somewhere and you just got lost in it waiting for that and pleasing them and the cycle continued and finally this this hope you know this light is coming in a form of a news in form of a person who is making you understand something and that's why you're getting out of it and now you're seeing there are so many possibilities for you when you were in the situation you were not able to see that possibility that's exactly that's what the message is so let's see the final message for group number 2 Wow, it came very fast here. Look again, the hard part is over, guys. The hard part is over. You have been going through a very hard time. I feel like that you're getting out again. We have the rainbows here. Finally, you'll be. F- it feels like for many days, for yeah, for many days you have or many months you have not been feeling yourself. You haven't been. Uh, it feels like some of you look in the mirror and you don't even recognize yourself. Who who have you become? You know, maybe that's that's something I see here, right? You didn't get the support you wanted. Yeah, something, something, something has taken a toll on you, and finally you are out of that. That's the change here. So here, um, I, I'm really getting. That's what I'm getting from this message. You know, sometimes there are days when we look in the mirror and we we can't even recognize ourselves, and we are like, what we have become. And that's the moment we realize that, oh my God, this thing is not good for me. I need to let go of it. And that's when the and as when as we are ready to let go of it. then the path get clear cleared that that's when we start seeing the steps as you as you move towards this uh, positive uh, steps right as you're taking the steps embrace the moment enjoy every day of your life okay yeah the worst is over the worst is behind you and now it's time for tiny tiny triumphs group number 2 yeah uh, so embrace this day this very moment think positively today and ripple those negative thoughts try not to judge yourself or others this may be harder than you think what is actually happening is that you're changing your energy you are changing your energy yes you are letting go of something that is holding you back that's what i see that slowly but surely for some of you you all you are already in the process of letting go of and you are already uh, seeing a different view you are already seeing the light for others soon you will be seeing you will be out of this situation that you're holding back uh, a situation is holding you back or a thing is holding you back you will be seeing it very clearly and you will be out that's what the message is for group number 2 hope it made sense hope it resonated if it did give me a thumbs up i'll see you soon bye bye group number 3 if this is the image that you have chosen let's see what is the message for you guys uh the all about your metamorphosis what changes you can expect uh so the wait is over that's what i was hearing again uh, with the humming bird here i feel like the wait is over now it's the time for joy you yeah maybe you have been working uh, on the changes right you know sometimes we have to work towards the changes that if you want to see the changes we have to work towards it i feel like you have been working you have been waiting and finally the wait is over now you can have all the things that you want so it feels like some of you are getting uh, the rewards and you will be able to move forward i i really feel here this pile has been working on themselves understanding their own power understanding that the joy is within uh, and you have been making the necessary changes right uh, inside of you you have been making the necessary changes inside of you and i see that the good that you want to see you're going to see so your patience is paying off that's what the message is okay so let's see uh, from the charms what changes are coming your way group number 3 what changes are coming for group number 3 Oh my god good luck <laughs> look we have the ladybug and oh, 
and we only got the letters so yes only one charm that is the ladybug and i told you you are making the necessary changes you have been waiting for certain things and yes now you now it's your time guys you are going to uh, have a lucky break i really feel like that lucky break good times uh, fortunate times are ahead for you guys fortunate times group number 3 we have b we have p we have k and we have z right wow that's nice <laughs> so yes uh, so let's see what else what is the changes that is coming for group number 3 changes you're very safe you're very protected and yes the wait is over you're getting your uh, rewards group number 3 that's a lot of cards spend time in nature whenever you're feeling a little bit chaotic whenever you're feeling like you're uh you know i feel like your wait is over as i told but sometimes um sometimes we feel like we have already waited we get to get into that energy of impatience at that time go out in nature relax okay so let's see what changes you can expect group number 3 what changes you can expect spirit guides thank you help me thank you what changes we have the moon lands yes you have been walking very cautiously you have been taking one step one step maybe you have been very cautious with your words you have been very cautious with your thoughts you, i i really feel like group number 3 you have been working you have been working on yourself you have been working on your thoughts and uh, you have been uh, yeah it, it feels like once we start uh, change your mindset that's when we start attracting a lot of luck so maybe you have been doing a lot of meditations may um, maybe you have been practicing affirmations you were going very slow right because you know that it's very easy to get into this negative thinking so we have to go slow uh, practice those affirmations uh, to have that positive mindset it's tough in order to get lucky we have to have that uh, lucky thoughts isn't it so i feel like you are someone if you're resonating you're someone you have been working on it and the changes like this work that you have been doing yeah it's not easy right we can easily fall it's easy easy right we our mind can change easily if, if we see one disappointment it's very easy to get into this negative thinking the old habits that we are re releasing so i really feel like you have been working on um letting go of your old toxic habits working on this new good habits so every day you have been doing that work and you have been waiting for that thing and yes the wait is over i feel like universe is uh, congratulating you for your hard work you have been very focused you have been very concentrated right again it requires a lot of concentration isn't it otherwise you will fall she has this balloon and she's walking like this look one step and one mistake she is down you were very cautiously walking <laughs> and i see that that good luck that you have been waiting for is happening here so so i feel like good times ahead that's what the universe is telling you that's the change so let's see it's all because of you only um so wow we have the rabbit again now you know rabbit can get into this uh, if you look at the if you look at the story of the rabbit and the uh, turtle, you know rabbit and the turtle right and the uh, rabbit had talents right he was very he has that great speed um <laughs> he has this great speed but he slept so he failed like that only i really feel like you might had made that mistake in the past and you're like with this moon dance i really see you have been very cautious you were like no i shouldn't sleep you know sometimes we we just take things for granted and uh, you will you are not taking things for granted that's what i see that you have been working you have been very focused very very focused and you know that this is my goal and i'm going to work towards it because once we are working towards that goal there might be times when we are not getting what we want right and it's very easy to get disappointed it's very easy to get into this thinking of fear overthinking and and what happens we are out of that way we are just going to sleep there because we are disappointed we are not working towards it i really feel like that is the thing that you have changed with this rabbit and that's why universe is going to bless you with lot of lot of fortune lot of good luck with this ladybug and again the red rabbit 
uh, this has been a very slow journey for many of you the weight has been there right uh, you have been consistent you have been building you have been moving forward but things were not moving that quick and i really feel like with this rabbit there is quick movement and rabbit also talks about abundance so yeah and i even see that many of you have worked on your habits as well some of your habits uh that in the past maybe you used to go back to that habit even though you knew that it's not good i see that you're conquering that habit you're getting rid of that habit as well <laughs> so that's that's good right it feels like uh, your hard work is paying off you have been consistent you have been patient and you have been slow steadily going moving moving forward you have you you had your eyes on the goal uh for a while now and i see that's that's you're you're getting the good luck you're getting the rewards that's what group number 3 feels like we have the four of air healing energy and four of earth again look at the number 4 and 4 uh, again it, oh look we have the four number here as well maybe you're seeing a lot of 4 4 4 and 4 4 4 talks about the stability again with the if you look at the four of wands it's the four pillars right four pillars uh, four pillars that uh, uh, keep the things stable ha huh? uh, again we have the four of pentacles so you're healing um healing healing your finances i feel like you're going to be feeling lucky in your finances you have been working uh, towards saving money maybe you have been um, having a financial plan i feel like that's ha- that's that's healing for you guys there is good luck with your uh, financial situation you have been working slow you, maybe you know where you need to spend you have been very cautious with it so you're healing that again rabbit can talk of also about the money flow okay so yes there is an increase in your money flow uh, you're protected you're safe you're again four of earth four of pentacles talks about the protection uh, of our money of our family of our of our home uh, so yes there is protection so your family uh your family is safe family is protected there is good luck in your family your family is blessed you are blessed your finances are blessed and and four of swords talks about the healing so you have been he- going through a financial healing so yes uh, i see that some of you had that lack thoughts regarding money you have been changing that you have been working on it and finally finally you are reaching this um the story i'm reminded of the story of the turtle and the hare and uh, the turtle reaches the goal right and you're going to reach the goal so finally you're making money there is increase in your money definitely if that's your goal you're getting it you have been working whatever goals you are your you, you have in your path i feel like you're healing and you're very safe and things are things are coming you will be feeling very lucky but this luck is not of not out of air anywhere this is something that you're creating for your own life right you have been walking like okay, again she she's walking like slowly 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 she knows that one step one mistake she is down so you have been very consistent you have been very very consistent very disciplined people and you deserve all the good you're getting you have been working on yourself so stability security for some of you i'm seeing good relationships as well so if you have felt like you didn't get any kind of protective relationship where the person didn't protect you i feel like uh, you're getting that kind of a protective relationship where you will have a home good relationship good communication yeah so wow that's nice here i like this for group number 3 and you deserve you deserve this okay you're doing you're doing the work really So let's see what changes you can expect. Group number three. Judgment. This is something that you have been praying for, guys. You have been praying hard for this thing. This is one of your goals that you have been praying hard for. You have been calling upon divine, praying for this thing, being very consistent, being having that faith, having that hope, and finally you're getting this thing. it feels like your prayers are being answered and you're feeling lucky yes you have been working towards this i feel like you have been doing certain rituals in order to uh, uh, to make your dreams come true maybe you have been scripting maybe you have been writing a list of uh, the things that you want to achieve every day you have been focusing on it with a positivity with faith and i see that your angels are blessing you with that thing <laughs> we have the four of wands wow look at it your number okay we have the four number with moon moon dance 
with we have the four of swords we have the four of pentacles and now we got the four of wands here look at it i talked about the pillars right the four pillars protection you're very protected your home is protected uh, your relationships are protected your finances is protected and the things that you're praying for your wishes are protected and they will be granted there is a lot of abundance that is flowing in your life you will see that uh, there is a lot of speed. If there has been a situation where you felt stuck, that's healing and see speed and momentum is uh, coming your way. Group number three. This is beautiful. Look at the <laughs> look at that abundance with the scrapes. A lot of abundance. Uh, again, it feels like some of you have been climbing the mountains. It was very tough, right? Climbing the mountains. It requires immense immense faith in order to reach the top of the mountain. You have been doing the work. Your hard work is paying off. You're, now you're going to a time where you will see the harvest. This hasn't been easy. <laughs> Again, we have four, 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 four. This, uh, this group might have been seeing a lot of four, four, four. <laughs> That's for sure. Uh, and the synchronicity is a very, yeah, it's, it's really there. Again, bear. Bears means they have the strength. They have the resources. They can make things happen. You have that. You have been... You know, with your faith, with your prayers, you have been cultivating that inner, inner peace, inner strength, and it's all working out in your favor. That trust and faith that you've shown, it's being off group number three. So be proud of yourself. So let's see what else is changing for group number three. You're getting your rewards, group number three. Congratulations. Whatever you have been praying for, it's coming true because you have been working hard towards it consistently. Oh, wow, I talked about bear, danger especially. Yes, again, you know, it can be regarding your money matters. Uh, that's what is going to be stable. You were very worried about your money matters and you have been working hard towards it. Uh, and I see that good times are up coming for you guys. Yes, wow, we have the psychic ability, trust your intuition. And I feel like as you have been uh, building your inner strength, as you've been working uh, very consistently, I see that um, even though you realize it or not, because you have been praying a lot, meditating a lot, maybe your intuition has also been very strong. So trust your intuition. Uh, and if you're, uh, you know, for with money matters as well, if you're investing somewhere, be very, uh, be you know, uh, trust your intuition. If, you, if it, it doesn't feel right, don't invest in that and all, okay? So that's what I'm getting here. Your intuition will protect you. Your intuition is always protecting you. Your intuition is very strong. So if I feel like the main change is also like heightened intuition. Your intuition is going to be very, very strong. That's one of the changes. So trust it. Group number three is getting lucky. <laughs> uh, yes, and again, you know, you're going to be very much protected. There is no doubt, a lot of protection. Again, your intuition will warn you, give you the guidance. Whenever you need assistance, they will give you that guidance, assistance with money, with your uh, career, with your relationships. Trust your intuition. Your intuition is uh, going to be very strong. That's one of the change. That is the one of the luckiest change, right? So, yeah. Good fortune. I saw good fortune. <laughs> Definitely good fortune. You're getting there that's for sure uh, then we have look plenty of material things look solid solid foundation success with effort yes that's the thing success with effort it's not the success it's coming out of nowhere yes it's lucky it's real yeah you're getting the luck but it's not coming out of nowhere you have been working hard like look at her she has been working hard balancing things balancing two things uh, balancing your mind, balancing your body, working consistently every day, showing up. It's not easy trusting your intuition every day, even though when things are not going the way we want, right? It's not easy at all, but you have been doing it. And I'm so proud of you because you have been sticking up. <laughs> and look, the amazing results, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. And yes, whatever you're building, it's going to be very strong because the foundation is very strong. So yes, you are going to get the success in money and your career. I, I, you know, it, in which area you're working towards, that area is going to be very fruitful for ev for us, every you know for many people. You might be working on your finances, relationship. Both areas are going to be fruitful. That's nice, right? So let's end the reading with a message. <laughs> 
uh, maybe you know we can take it as a guidance or we can apply it as a message. Let's see what is the final message for group number three. Oh wow, this is the time for you guys to receive. There is no doubt. Again, this gift. It feels like universe is going to give you whatever you have been deserving. You have been working very hard, very, very consistent with your, not only consistent with your work, with your thoughts, with your positivity. It's all going to pay off. <laughs> seek. Yes, yeah, what we seek, we get. You have been seeking the positive things in your life and you're receiving it. Right, again, if you look at it, the hands are there, right? The hands, it feels like you're not alone. Your spirit team, your spirit guides are helping you in this journey, right? Again, this it feels like the universe is giving you the gift that you want. And that is going to make your heart open because you have been seeking it, right? And look, again, we have this purple color. <laughs> and this purple color is like your intuition is very strong, very open. Your crown chakra is open, so trust it. Keep on moving forward like this guys because the change that is coming for you guys is going to be a lot of fortune good luck good fortune money increase materialistic increase uh, for others it can be spiritual awareness as well knowledge spiritual knowledge wisdom uh, receiving the gifts of the universe right the wisdom of the universe um, and i really seek what you whatever you're seeking that's what you're receiving here so so that's what uh, the message is for group number three. Hope it made sense. Hope it resonated. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.